Okay, well, Professor Photo back again. Here we are doing these reviews of these Voigtlander lenses, wonderful lenses, and not enough can be said about the fact that you need to have a really good, well-engineered, well-crafted, finely finished adapter. And as you can see in this picture here, what we have is a Leica mount to FX Fuji mount. And this is another product which is provided, um, handled by our friends at Camera Quest. Um, Steven was nice enough to loan us the Voigtlander lens to do these reviews. And he also happens to be the guy who handles Rayqual, the adapters, which are made in Japan. And these are just beautiful little, almost jewelry type items that work so incredibly well. Um, it is amazing. And they're rock solid. You put them on the body, you put them on the lens. You notice there's a separate release tab here. You can see the release tab. Um, that works on this and just to give you an example of how well this works I'm going to bring in what is another wonderful piece of equipment which we really are just really enjoying and get a big kick out of and that is the Voigtlander Helar Hyperwide 10 millimeter 5.6 this is a wonderful wonderful optical instrument and what I really like about this thing is the fact that it's like it's crafted, packed well, and it is just a real little gem to deal with. And I'm going to take it out of the box here, move that out of the way. And what you're going to see here is probably one of the nicest, best engineered, high quality, ultra wide, hyper wide lenses I've seen in a really long time. And in all honesty, uh, it puts a lot of lenses to shame. It comes with this beautiful, really nice metal cap. And you can see from the way this thing is put together, it's solid metal and it is not just metal, but it's crafted like a piece of like, I don't know, jewelry. It's an optical instrument. That's what it really comes down to. You'll see that this also has the quote unquote Leica M mount on it. And it is, if you look at just the way that this mount has been machined and crafted, it is a beautiful lens. And the quality of the glass in this is just uh, almost, I don't want to say without par, but it is every bit as good as anything produced by Leica or Sony um, or Zeiss. And it is just butter smooth to work with. I mean, the focusing on this thing is unbelievably good. And it has a long throw. I mean, if you take a look at where we are here and feel this and feel and feel and feel and feel and feel, you get down to 0.5, inside of 0.5 here. The other thing is it is a 5.6 lens. Okay, which you think, oh, well, that can't be very fast, but the reality is uh, most lenses of this type, including things like the, uh, the Hologon that was made for the Context Outfit G2, uh, that, if I remember correctly, was, was an F8. Uh, it's very hard to engineer a lens that's this wide, that's faster than 5.6 because of the fact that there's so many lens aberrations. This has beautiful click stops. You can hear uh, and you can feel they spring and pop into place. Um, the, the, it, just, it just has this wonderful, and the edges on this are just razor sharp. Um, it's like a set of pinking shears almost. And you'll notice that the pictures that we supply, the still pictures, um, they were shot on an APS-C Fuji XC2S. And the bottom line is the fact that that's a crop sensor camera. Well, that makes this a, the equivalent of a 15 millimeter. And for most people, even a 15 millimeter is challenging. Uh, I find very few people can shoot with anything under an 18, but this 10 is almost, it's not quite a fisheye, it's 130 degrees um, angle of view. It is unbelievably wide and it does a phenomenally good job. Um, and I'm looking forward to shooting some slide film and some black and white film with this, um, just to get a feel for what it can do. Um, and it's it's one of these things where it is manual focusing, but the depth of field of this is just insane. Here is your f8 to f5.6. If you look at how far this depth of field goes, come back here, and if it's at 5.6, you can be focused here and come back. This is two meters, a little over seven feet. You come back to depth of field inside to half, and you're going to carry depth of field past quote unquote theoretically past infinity. I mean, I took this camera and put it up to a mirror to show, shoot a couple selfies. I literally had this camera up against the mirror and it still came out short. I used it on the um, Professor Photo lens test chart. Uh, unbelievably good results. 
I, even when I took the camera and pushed it inside the minimum focusing distance up against the chart, it did amazingly well. So now to give you an example of how well these adapters work, let's get back to the main subject here, is the fact that it's like you match them up red to red, and you can hear it pop into place, and this thing is just, the adapter is in some cases almost more important than the lens because if you don't have a great adapter that keeps everything positioned exactly perfectly, you're not going to get the kind of results you want, especially when you realize you have to manually focus this lens. So you got to know, you have to have some idea of what you're doing here. You can't just go off on the deep end and just uh, jump off because there is no autofocus for this. And that's one of the reasons that it makes this lens so amazingly good is the fact that it is, it is a manual focus lens. I have a beautiful lens cap on the back, which can be uh, this is an X, but the bottom line is the fact that uh, it comes with these wonderful lens caps. And I can't say enough about this wonderful quality metal lens cap. I mean, this thing goes on, it's machined to just the tightest tolerances. So it's, it's really a wonderful be piece of kit. Um, you'll notice we have uh, diagrams and also we did a nice, nice long extensive in-depth write-up on this lens. But like I said, the adapter on this LM Leica mount to Fuji XF works fabulous on any of the lenses that we have tried so far. I'm looking forward to seeing what other additional adapters Rayquel makes and to trying those on some of the other additional items. But uh, yeah, this is something that I would have to say, this is worth every nickel and then some. Um, I would recommend anybody that I know, especially my friends at Fuji Italy, um, this, is, this is probably going to be, uh, produce a much better image actually than the Fuji uh, Zoom 10 to 24 that they make. And that's, uh, it's priced extremely well. So if you're into shooting lens, landscapes and a lot of other things, uh, this is an excellent lens to work with. Um, there are other types of adapters where you can actually put this on a Nikon uh, DSLR um, and of course it makes it into a macro hyper wide angle lens. Now there's something, I'm going to get a hold of one of those to try that out. So this is Professor Photo. Stop by, uh, like the video. Um, if you have a Voigtlander lens, you're welcome to come share your photos um, on our Facebook page for uh, the new Voigtlander lens group, lens shooters. Um, we look forward to hearing from you and seeing you. Thank you ever so much.